Hi everybody, thank you for joining me today. So we're going to be working on this sketch here. It's from Paper Play Sketches, number 15. I'll have a link to the blog spot, or to the blog, yeah, um, in the more section. So to start off, I already had cut my paper. Um, pretty much the sizes are, uh, the base piece is 4 and an eighth by 5 and 3 eighths. And then the two smaller cards are two and a half by three. And my little strip that goes across the middle, uh, I cut it at, I think it's one and a half by four and an eighth. So what I'm doing here is I've got the butterfly stamp from uh, Butterfly Beauty from Concord and Ninth. And I'm stamping down the lightest purple this is the solid stamp so this one gives it more of that kind of whimsical watercolor uh, look now I originally had a bigger sheet of paper on here because I was just going to kind of play with it and then possibly cut it out but I decided to go ahead and just stamp it on my focal piece that I already had cut which I cut to three by I want to say four for the um, the actual sentiment piece where we're putting the decorative pieces here all right and normally well actually you'll see or you've seen in the beginning the sketch itself was um, more of a vertical sketch but I'm gonna turn it on its side so once I stamped um, what I consider my middle shade uh, I grab the details the more the, like the outline sketch of the stamp and we're inking that up in VersaFine uh, Black Onyx ink. I was going to do it in a darker purple and decided to go with the black because I like the contrast but you can always you know stamp it in the same color and it'll still give you a nice technique. So after we rub it down I love using the Musty because that allows us to do multiple stamping and have nice clear and crisp um, butterfly when we're done. So in that same set, they had a happy birthday. Once again, since it's on the Misty, I stamped it twice, and so it was a nice crisp black. And now, I was going to use the body, but it doesn't really line up. It works better with the two pieces um, in the stamp set that don't have any body connected to them. It's, you're just stamping the wings. Now, with those, you could use that particular stamp. So right here, I'm going to go ahead and ink up the two pieces. And the person I'm making this for, they like, uh, I think their favorite colors are purples and yellows. And so I'm doing a combination of both. And of course, while filming, my ATG tape broke. Okay, so I just really rolled it back onto the roll. I wind up losing a little bit of the, excuse me, of the double-sided tape because of how I had to, you know, reattach it, but at least I still use most of it. So right here, I'm just kind of laying out exactly how I want everything to lay, and I'm trying to keep everything as flat as possible. So that way, if you decided to, you know, uh, mail this out to somebody, it's going to be a little bit thicker, but it won't be crazily where you have to get like a um, padded envelope or something like that. Okay, so on the back of our butterfly sentiment, I'm just putting a few strips of foam tape. And once I get it laid down, I'm going to take my scissors and pull the backing off. And we're going to do that to all three pieces and then attach. Alright, and now that's the way I'm laying it right now is how it looks on the sketch. But like I said, I flipped it on its side. So now we're just going to crease our A2 size card. It's going to be a side open. And we're just going to, once again, attach our main focal piece. And we're just going to attach it there. Oh, 
All right. And really, I like this. The sketch is done. Um, there's one other thing I am going to do. I'm going to grab my Wink of Stella marker, the clear glitter, and we're going to color in the whole butterfly. I was going to do just like the inner decorative parts, but that was too intricate. So I was like, you know what, let me just cover this whole thing. You do need to be careful though, because the oxide that I used, it wasn't dry completely. So a little bit of the color did move around a bit. And then I was going to grab my phone to see if I could show you guys the, the sparkle in it, but I haven't figured out how, um, what's her name Amy R does it she turns on her flashlight and you can see all the glitter sparkly I can never get it to work so I'm trying again this time I could see it but you guys couldn't see it so I just say forget it Wink of Stella has some glitter cover your entire butterfly now you could also use the sequins like I showed you um, in there what I did was while I was off camera I took my um, multimedia mat and I glued down uh, nine sequins and really to me that just it finishes off the card I love how something as simple as sequins can make the card just look so much better so thank you guys again for joining me make sure you hit the like subscribe and share button and at the end of the video I'll have links to our latest or I should say the last two sketch videos Thanks, you guys, and I hope you have a great day.